Welcome back to the last example of this section in which we will have to split the first and the last names. And I know that we have made many examples like that in the first section, but this time we don't have any interval or a dash or an underscore or whatever in order to quickly use the search function as we have done many, many times. Now the pattern is obvious we need to find the position of the uppercase letter after the first position in each of these cells and then we'll be able to use the left and the right functions. Now, this is not a very difficult example to be honest, but it may be a bit a time consu consuming one. And let's see what we're going to do. As mentioned already, in the first section we use the search function a lot. Now the search function, however, is a case insensitive function. So it doesn't matter whether I will be looking for a lower case S or an uppercase S. And I believe I mentioned there in the first section that there is another function which is called find. And the main difference between find and search is that the find is case sensitive function. So this is good, but then how do we know what exactly we're looking for? Well, this is the problem. We don't know. And what we will have to do is to find, is to try to find all the letters in the English alphabet from A to Z starting from the second position. So instead of passing only one value here like that, we will have to pass an entire array. So A and then B and then whatever. And just to show you that this thing actually works, I will just pass A, B and S in the comma, the within text, this is so A2 comma and let's start from the second position and if I now click F9 to evaluate I will see that I have errors for uh, for the A and the B but then for the S Excel returns 7 and the name Stacy indeed is the S in Brandy Stacy is indeed on the seventh position so this is what I meant by by saying that this may be a time consuming solution because if we simply type in C and then D and then whatever, first of all, it will take some time. And second of all, we may omit one letter and get unexpected or incorrect results. So instead, I'm going to show you a quick tip. How can we create an array which will contain all the letters from A to Z? And of course, I mean all, only the capital letters. Well, first of all, if you remember in the first section, we also got familiar with a function called car. And I have done, I have uh, used all the possible values that the car function uh, returns. So uh, I believe we mentioned that it only accepts values from zero to 255. And the capital letters, luckily they all start, they start from 65 until 90. So one way is to use this. But we already know the car function. Let's review a function which we haven't uh, reviewed yet and this is the function called address. And as it's written here it creates a cell reference as text given a row and a column. So if I were to reference uh, if i were to reference the first row and the first column excel will return an absolute reference so a1 with these dollar signs so this is an absolute reference now if you remember we use the substitute function a lot in the first section so we should know how to remove these dollar signs ourselves However, 
we don't need to use the substitute function because the address function has this absolute number argument which by default apparently is absolute but then if I enter 4 here I will change this to relative and now when I click enter the dollar signs will no longer exist in this cell and now I can use the left function and get only the first character from this okay but my idea is to copy the formula to the right side and I want this A to change to B and to C and to D and whatever so instead of hard coding one here for the column number argument I will use the column function and it apparently it returns the column number of a reference and I will pass here cell A1 for instance and I will click enter and now if I start copying the formula to the right side this A will change to B to C to D and whatever however I need this to be the A I needed to be enclosed within double quotes so if you remember again from the first section we can either use four instances of double quotes here and here as well or we can use the car function and pass 34 I will use the car function alright so now I can drag this formula to the right side until column Z and we have managed to create uh, to get the uppercase letters from the English alphabet enclosed within double quotes now however I need them in one cell in order to be able to use them as an array and there is a function in Excel which is very convenient for such cases and this is the function text join unfortunately I believe the text join function is available only for Excel 2016, 365 and 2019 so if you use Excel 2013 on 2010 you probably don't have the text join function but I'll show you an alternative solution for this in a second so the text join function for the first argument is a delimiter in our case we can use a comma then the second value is ignore empty in our case this is a bit irrelevant because we, we will not have empty values but I will type in true it doesn't matter and then I can simply select so a 13 and click control shift right and when I close the parentheses and click enter Excel will create a string of all values and they will be split with a comma if you don't have the text join function you can simply click control shift right here in order to copy this and then copy it and paste it in a notepad now I will select this space here and click Ctrl C to copy it and then I will click Ctrl H in order to enable the replace window and I would like to replace what I have copied with a comma and I will click replace all now and now anyway I have done this in notepad I will add here curly braces and curly braces here too and now I'm ready to copy this and use it for a find function so let's copy and in cell B2 I will write the equal sign and let's find what I have in my clipboard comma in cell A2 and let's start from the second position now if I click F9 I will see that I have many value errors and that's okay but then I have 7 here so Excel has found that 
actually I'm not sure in which cell uh, I'm typing in oh, okay I'm typing in cell B2 B3 not in B2 so let's let's go back to cell B2 again find control V in cell A2 starting from the second position and click F9 Excel has found that uppercase letter S is on the seventh position now the question is how do I get rid of these values value errors now we know that the max function ignores logic and text but it doesn't handle well errors and just to show you if I in cell E2 if I try to delete 5 by 0 of course this will return an error and then if I add some numeric values like 80 and and 60 for instance and if I use the max function and pass these four values Excel will return an error same is if I search for some gibberish in cell A3 X, uh, the max function doesn't handle errors well but then we know that we can use the if error function so let me quickly uh, write the find function once again again if I click F9 I will see many errors here control Z and I can nest this in an F if error function and if there is an error with this I want simply an empty string and now if I click F9 we will see an array of empty strings and this 7 and now we can nest this in the max function because the max function ignores text and now we're only left with the 7 so now we can use the left function here and the text argument this will be so a2 comma and how many characters we want well whatever this max function returns minus one and if I simply click F9 of course we don't have uh, intervals here so this is uh, useless but if I now make a double click we will apply the same formula for all our cells in the data set and we have been able to extract the first name and then very briefly and quickly we can get the last names too so I will use the write function from cell A2 and how many characters I will simply type in the length of A2 minus the, minus the length of B2 so I don't think you will have many examples like that in real world Excel worksheets normally the dates uh, the name should be split with either an interval or a comma or a dash or an underscore or whatever I just wanted to show you the text join function and also a quick way to create an array which will contain all letters from the English alphabet all right so this was the last example in the array formula section but there will be a few array formulas example in examples in the next section too in which we will get familiar with some of excel's lookup functions i will see you there